I have got a lot of drone footage in store for today, so let's get to it. Welcome back everybody, this is Carsonus from Creationist and the vlog is back. Today I'm out here at Harrelson Seafood. I'm coming back for a second time for a commercial I am doing for them. They need drone footage. It's been raining for two weeks and today is finally the day. So I was just able to ask them for kind of permission to fly the drone. I don't necessarily need it, but if I'm gonna be flying over any type of building, I should definitely let them know. It is so bright out here, you can tell just by how overexposed my white is, and that means we're gonna need an ND filter. It's basically sunglasses for your drone. So that's gonna be it for the exterior of the seafood place. I didn't wanna to get too much because I'm mostly trying to get footage of the fish, which I did get inside, but now I'm gonna actually get the boat that captures the fish, but flying went well. Like I said, I just need to change out that ND filter. ND64 was plenty dark enough. I could have even maybe got away with 16, but 64 I think was that sweet spot as well. It was pretty clear except for that tree right above me, but hey, what are you gonna do? Okay, we are at the second location. This is Wahoo's. This is where the boat is at. Looks like I'm gonna have to walk a little bit, but this was not even a mile away. I could have one wheeled. And I did bring that for later. Let's do this. I would say that was a semi-success. I went behind Wahoo's, I saw so many boats, and I didn't know which one was his. There was no indicators or markers that said Harrelson's Seafood. We're gonna be using a wide shot for the commercial. And the wide shot is really gonna show that it's local in the Merles area, and I think it'll work out okay. Um, I think he'll love it. I'm excited to actually finish up this edit. I've already done most of the timeline. I just have to throw in the drone shots, some music, and you know, give a little special sauce. Now, the best part about doing a bunch of drone work these days is I actually got this power adapter and I can charge as I'm driving. It takes an hour and a half for one battery, but that's really not too bad as I've got a two hour drive to Lumberton. So keep watching if you wanna see some one wheel footage as well more drones to come in Lumberton. Let's go. Sorry ahead of time for the noise. I'm out here at the first property, about to shoot with the drone. I'm just doing three photos. We'll see how these challenges go. Let's get flying. Woo, that was a success. I don't think they're used to drones around here. I had a whole audience whenever I was finishing up. So, you know, I can give them a wave back and then I see like six hands. I would thought it was like a couple people, but they were all watching. Also glad I have long sleeves. It's a little hot, but dang, is it keeping me away from being sunburnt because I forgot some sunscreen. Uh, let's go to the next thing on. I'm really starting to get to know Lumberton now, um, following the GPS to the second location, and wow, look at this. 
just your casual road. Let's try it out. Keep in mind, I am driving a Ford Focus through this. I think I stick out like a sore thumb over here. Also, I should have brought my strap. I had one hand on my camera and the other on my chicken road. Almost destroyed me. What the hell was that? Google Maps? Come on, I would expect this from Apple Maps. But what I just went through, my suspension, I don't even know how it survived. Yet the dude who lived down the street, he had a red car too. Thankfully, I don't know how he made it because he had just as small of a car as I did. Um, but his big dog was coming towards me, but I guess red team is, is a-okay. <sighs> Let's just get to this next place. I hear it's by IHOP. <sighs> Need some food after this. We are here. It is an empty lot near the IHOP. We got this guy just going to town. It looks like he's having a grand old time. Finally, grass cutting weather. Weather aside, I am here to shoot some drone. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Yeah. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I thought there was drops. It's starting to get a little cloudy out here, so I need to probably pick up the pace. That detour slowed me down. Let's get up in the sky. What's happening now is me flying over and whenever I got to the commercial lot, I was noticing things real quick. Blurry photos. My ND was too dark. It was meant for video and not photo. So I got a lighter one on. All right, so I've got two left. The third one went excellent. The only thing was there was a lot of trees, so I found myself just kind of slowly easing it as my Mavic Air 2 was like, no, do not go, but you gotta do it for the shot, risk it for the biscuit. I mean, that's why we do what we do, because no one else you know, is willing to take the risk that we are. I mean, we are trained pilots, you know, some of us, and you know, if you're not gonna go all in, don't go at all. So, two more to go, let's get it. This one is a commercial building. Um, I'm excited. I wonder what's next. That last one was quite the challenge. It's a commercial building, so there's actual traffic going in and out of it and during it someone just decided to park so crooked and it killed me so i'm just trying a hundred different angles which is the one and i didn't go with the typical look and i used a tree to hide that car <laughs> i hope she likes it i'll make sure to show her later today if i have to go back so be it but i like the shot time for the actual last one this one is residential and I think it's gonna be a quick one. I think I can actually leave the car on for this. And we made it. I finally finished all five properties today. Thank you for, you know, riding along with me. I do plan on still riding the one wheel if it doesn't rain, big if. But now I'm here at Codwell Banker and I wanna make sure I am, you know, as transparent as possible. So I'll keep y'all updated on that. Mm, wow, I just had that cakes and pastries behind me. I was gonna show y'all, but I already ate it. I couldn't wait on it. I was pleased to see all the photos. I was actually able to show her every single one I took. I really like just having complete transparency. It just makes all parties involved just feel much more confident, you know? I found a place on the side of the road and looks like I'm doing it. I definitely am not wearing the right attire, but we're gonna give that full send. I'm gonna fly the drone. I'm gonna fly the drone while riding. Let's see how this goes.
that was insane. All right, I need to do this more. I'm already addicted. I actually tried the automatic modes, mostly because there's not many trees, just tons and tons of corn. Anyway, I set myself a timer and that's because I knew I'd get ahead of myself and I'm already going two minutes past the timer. Time for the ride back because, you know, it takes just as long to go back as it does to get here. Overall, it's been a great time in Lumberton. I'll see Lumberton back in two weeks. Peace, guys. This has been Carsonist from Creationist. Catch you in the next one. Man, I'm really reminiscing over those. I got a whole half dozen right here. I got all different flavors. I think I got cinnamon, um, strawberry, coconut, um, cream cheese, original. They're like glazed. They're like donuts, but they're... The croissant?